practice makes it perfect. Exactly, that's what I say to um, the clients who see it and say, oh, of course you can do it, you know, how can I do it at home? Of course you can, if I can do it, you can do it, you know? There's no magic, just practice. Hi, my name is Tatiana and I'm here today with a lovely Daisy. Uh, today's Hoi hair hack is boxer braids inspired by Kim Kardashian braids. And we're going to achieve that look with our gorgeous clipping braids. Uh, I'm just going to undo this braid and show you the color. We matched this braid to the ends of your hair because that's most of the times one of the things a lot of the times actually people do wrong is the matching uh, is not the matching of the extensions not right. So you could see the extensions right away. So if I put this section mm -hmm. over your hair, you could probably tell that it has all the colors in. You've got the root and the ends are matching to the ends of your hair, pretty much in that kind of color scheme. So any clipping are you going to put in, you have to prepare the base for it. We clip a little section up and we tease a little one inch wide area where the clip is going to sit and we use a hairspray. Any light um, hold hairspray is good, just to secure it. It's basically to create a little nest, a little area where the clip will stay and stay securely. So when you're going to wear it throughout the day, it's just not going to slide or uh, be causing you actually any discomfort. So let the hairspray dry, hairspray dry, clip it in. I mean, this hairstyle is really cool and quite trendy and it can actually change your look in an instant. Um, I would say for me, it will take maybe 10 minutes to do it. And for someone who may be not so confident, confident in braiding, it could probably be maybe 25 minutes, I would say. But the idea is you shouldn't be, um, I mean, you don't have to be very tidy with sectioning. You know, try to use just your fingers. I mean, recently it was, it's, it has been a trend of having the hair a little bit on the messier side rather than on sleek and, you know, sleek and clean and, you know, kind of without any flyaways. So it's all very, very natural. It's actually quite easy. I can do this style on myself. Uh, I believe it takes maybe a couple of tries to, a couple of attempts to try, and it's always better to do it in front of the mirror. I'm doing a Dutch braid, which is inside out braid. Right now I am uh, using a little see-through elastic to secure the braid here. Uh, because Daisy's hair is quite short, I don't want to continue braiding to the end and then basically end up with hair sticking out because it's not just shorter hair, it's actually quite thick hair. So we have to be quite, um, you know, make it quite secure here. So normally I would continue braiding, um, but here I use that little hairband to keep everything in place. and. Right now, I will pull the sections before I continue and finish that braid. I'll pull, pull the sections apart to make that braid a little bit thicker and a little bit fluffier. Just also keep a couple of pins like that, bobby pins, uh, handy. Um, it's, they're very, very helpful to hide all the shorter bits over here on the sides. Perfect, let's continue braiding. I remember, you know, 10 years ago it was 
having hair extensions, it was kind of, everyone was hiding it. Oh, I don't want my friends to know. I don't want my colleagues to know. How can I come to work tomorrow? Maybe I'll wear it in a ponytail for a couple of weeks. So people think, you know, afterwards that, you know, my hair's grown. But now it's like, yeah, I, you know, I tell everyone. I remember one of my clients, uh, she was like, oh, I had extensions for five years. My husband doesn't know that I have them in. I'm like, how? <laughs> you know? How is that possible? Okay, one is in. And maybe just a couple of small pins. I have this really tiny uh, bobby, bobby pins. They're so cool. I actually like that it's a couple of the pieces falling down because it's also quite cool and matches the whole, you know, the whole look. So for the second one, we are placing it in exactly the same position. So I'm trying to feel with my fingers where it's uh, sitting right now and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'll place it on that section and the same process, it's exactly the same braid color-wise. Using the teasing brush, I am back combing the section and putting just a little bit of hairspray, always advisable. Opening the clip and starting to braid. It's cool with your dress as well, the braids. Super, super cool. Same thing here. I'm just trying to uh, get down to the very bottom of your uh, piece of your hair section. It's quite short here, so I'm sorry if I'm doing it a little bit tighter to make sure that we are um, engaging everything in the back. And I'll use the uh, clear elastic, exactly the same as I used before. They're quite cool because um, I normally use clear ones for blonde hair because they're not as obvious. The messier, the better. Not too messy, but like messy enough. Sometimes if the clip is getting a little bit annoying, if it happens after a couple hours of wear, I literally just open it up and just let it free kind of stay there because your hair is holding the braid. It's not going to go anywhere. It's a very durable hairstyle. So it's uh, very well distributed because it's uh, braided along your hair. Your hair is holding it rather than just a clip. Really cool. It's a very, um, clever little thing and if you can braid even a little bit it's actually it uh, it can be it can be a great uh, alternative to anything else I mean it's I, I don't even know what else we could use to recreate the style if it's not this clip and braids because just clip and panels will be too chunky here and the attachment will be too big so these are really cool the attachment is small and um, has a lot of hair on it as well and obviously I could have attached them lower so the braids would have been longer. You can have short one day, long the other day, whatever you feel like. Hair is a new hat. So you can take it off, put it back on, you know. <laughs> okay, so one more elastic on the bottom. And I think it took 10 minutes. Practice makes it perfect. Exactly, that's what I say to um, the clients who see it and say, oh, of course you can do it, you know, how can I do it at home? Of course you can, if I can do it, you can do it, you know? There's no magic, just practice. And I'm just going to turn you around the other way. 